In this video I'm going to show you how to crimp a Molex type pin with a standard crimping tool. First let's discuss the pin. As you can see there are two aspects to the pin. There are the inner tab and the outer tab. The outer tab is typically longer, the inner tab here is smaller. The inner tab will grasp the stripped portion of the wire and crimp onto it and the outer tab will form a loop and grasp the insulator portion of the wire and provide strain relief. First what we need to do is strip the wire to the proper length. You need to strip the length of the wire so it will fit inside of the inner tab perhaps just a slight bit longer. I'm using a 20 gauge wire for demonstration purposes here. I prefer to use an automatic wire stripper and we strip off just a slight bit of wire and I'll show you that this wire is eventually going to lay inside of the terminal right here and be crimped. The crimper that we're going to use uh, is one that is designed specifically for this purpose. If you were to look at the inside of the jaws up in here and up in here they are heart shaped. They have a slight uh, point in the center allowing the tab to curl over and grasp the wire as it's crimped. Uh, there are several different sizes and they're marked C, D and E and then A and B are round uh, crimp barrels for use in grasping the uh, insulation of the wire later on. Now there's different sizes of terminals and different sizes of tabs. The, the width of the tab here. Some tools are wider as this one has and I'm using a smaller terminal. So I have taken the uh, liberty of taking the tool and filing down the back side and removing some material either on a belt sander or a file to allow it to be a little bit thinner uh, and fit the uh, terminal better. What I'm going to do first is put the terminal in, I'm going to use the E slot. The Put just the first set of tabs in the slot. Don't crimp it down, just enough that it holds. So here you can see what it's going to look like. It's just going to sit in that E slot. Then we're going to take the wire and insert the wire into the terminal so that the insulated portion is underneath the second set of tabs and the strip portion is underneath the tabs to be crimped. Then squeeze down and then you can remove the barrel and you can see how the tabs squeezed around the strip portion of the wire. The second portion of this process is to crimp the aft tabs to grasp around the insulation of the wire uh, to act as a strain relief. Now since they come in different sizes, this one for this particular size wire is going to be too long and it will just end up being a, a mess on top if we don't shorten it. So what we're going to do is take a wire cutter here and trim down this tab some can see I'm going to just shorten it like so and shorten the other tab just a little bit as well uh, and with experience you'll learn how much uh, you need to shorten it for a particular type of installation. Once you have the tab cut down then we're going to be using the B terminal or B position of this uh, crimping tool to allow the uh, crimper to grasp the insulated portion of the wire. So the, I will demonstrate here how this process works. We're going to put it in the B position here. I've just turned the crimper upside down so it's easier to see here. And as you can see, you gotta line it up and once you have it lined up you squeeze again together and now it's forming around the insulated portion of the wire. So now we have a wire that is crimped both on the 
forward and aft tabs uh, of the terminal and provides a nice good crimp that should last for a long time. Thank you for watching this video.